Hey guys, Skyrider Comics here. Just want to do a real quick video on how to properly package and ship comic books. I've bought plenty of comic books that have come in a cardboard sandwich, stuffed in a bubble mailer. By the time it gets here, it's bent in the mailbox and damaged as can be. Um, so if you're shipping comic books, whether you're selling on eBay, Facebook, Instagram, uh, whatever it may be, make sure you're packaging and shipping your comic books in a way that they're going to arrive safe. Uh, just a couple quick modern books here that we're going to use as an example. Thor number one. By the way, this is a pretty cool story. I'm looking forward to reading the rest of it. We've got the Art Germ variant, the Ron Lim variant. Uh, packaging here and shipping is one to two books is $5 first class. I give the buyer an option. One to eight books, $8 priority. And nine to 30 books, $14 priority. That'd be a medium flat rate box. What we're going to look at today is how to ship a few comic books here. And I'm going to give the option of first class or priority. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started. A couple supplies that you're going to need. You always want your painter's tape, okay? You're going to need a couple extra backing boards. These are Silver Age backing boards. Uh, I'll show you how I use these for modern books. For Silver Age books, I use Golden Age backing boards, but you're going to want to have a couple extra backing boards. Invest in some comic book mailers. This is a Gemini comic book mailer. They make off-brand ones. I buy so many comic books, I've never had to purchase these. I save all my used ones and reuse them. You're going to want to learn how to ship in a Gemini comic book mailer. Uh, first class, I would send it out like this. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Priority, you're going to want to get some legal flat rate envelopes. This is not the padded envelope. This is a legal flat rate envelope. And then we would put the comic book mailer inside the envelope. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We got three books here. These are modern books, okay? These are modern books placed in a modern bag and board. It's important that you have your books in the right bag and board. You see here, there's no room for it to move around. If this was put in a Silver Age bag and board, you'd have a little bit of a gap on each side, and then your books can move around. You want it to be nice and tight inside the proper bag and board. So for your, for your Silver Age books, Put them in a Silver Age bag and board. For your modern books, put them in a modern bag and board. Okay, so we got three books here. We're going to ship these off. We want to make sure they arrive safe. You're going to take your Silver Age backers. And we're going to take one and put it in the front. We're going to take another one and put it in the back. Okay, I now have what's known as a cardboard sandwich. Do not ever send out your books in a flimsy cardboard sandwich like this taped together and then just placed in a bubble mailer that is asking for uh, damage to your books. So we want to start off with a couple backs and boards, sandwich them in there. And the reason I use Silver Age here is because it gives me a little bit of room on the corners here. It gives me a little bit of room on the edge uh, for if anything was to happen. So we get those lined up real good. Then you're gonna take a piece of painter's tape. Go ahead and get your painter's tape. Um, a lot of people prefer blue painter's tape over scotch tape. It just has a tendency to not stick to plastic or to the bubble wrap or anything. It's a lot easier to remove. It's just a lot cleaner than scotch tape. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a piece of blue painter's tape and placing it at the top of that sandwich. They're sandwiched in with the bags and board with the backer boards. Okay, tape it off there. Another piece of painter's tape. Okay, tape it right here. Go ahead and do that to both sides. Make sure it's even and in there, nice, snug. Okay, and you now have your books sandwiched in between two Silver Age backing boards with a little bit of room on the edge there. I don't know if you can see that, but you got a little bit of room on the edge there for if this was to take any slight damage, right? But that's not it. You don't want to put this in a bubble mailer and ship it like this. You now want to, a lot of 
a lot of people will place it in a priority mailing envelope. Again, all these priority supplies are free. So you can get some free priority mailing envelopes. Place it in there. Just like so. Fold it over. And this is now going to act as if it's... I wouldn't say it's as good as bubble wrap, but a lot of people will place their books in here to put a piece of tape on that. And then they'll go ahead and put it in your Gemini mailer and ship it like that. I've bought plenty of books that have come like this. Um, I've never had a problem with it, but I prefer bubble wrap. I personally prefer to use bubble wrap rather than the priority mailing envelope, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Take a couple of pieces of our bubble wrap from over here. Move this out of the way. Okay, so you got your books here. Remember, sandwiched in between your Silver Age boards. You're now going to place it in some bubble wrap. I always have the bubbles facing out, the smooth flat side facing in. Okay, fold that over. Again, painter's tape works a lot better, a lot cleaner than your scotch tape here. Put a piece there to hold that bubble wrap. And then fold this over a few times. That was three sheets of bubble wrap that I used here. Pick up this bubble wrap at Walmart, or on Amazon, or any shipping store. Now you have uh, more protection than if it was just placed in that mailing envelope. So you could then put this in the mailing envelope if you wanted to, okay? And, and you have a little bit more protection and then put it right in your Gemini mailer. But uh, I like to get it wrapped in bubble wrap, nice and tight there in those backing boards. And then again, you need to invest in comic book mailers again this is a gemini comic supply mailer they make off-brand ones um, don't just throw this in a padded envelope and ship it out and think it's going to arrive safe a gemini comic book mailer or an off-brand mailer provides a lot more support uh, and safety as this is out there being shipped okay so you're going to go ahead and open up your mailer put it in there depending on how many books you're shipping i can usually fit up to eight books, depending on the size of the books in a Gemini mailer. That's why I do one to eight, eight dollars. Anything more than that's going in a medium or a large flat rate box. You can usually get up to eight books in there, depending on the thickness and how many books you have in there. Uh, you're gonna play around with the perforations here where it's perforated and kind of fold it where you need it to be. It's pretty, pretty simple. But we're gonna place our books in there. We're gonna fold that over like that. Okay, fits in there nice and neat. Get you a piece of painter's tape. Go ahead and tape that off. And there you have books safely inside, backing boards, bubble wrap, and then place in a Gemini mailer. If I was gonna ship this first class, okay, if this was two books and it was under the weight limit and we were gonna ship this first class, we tape it up real good. I put some tape over here just to keep the any water or anything out, print the label, and I would put it just like that and ship it, okay? However, I prefer to do priority on these books because then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Gemini mailer and you're gonna place it inside your legal flat right envelope. Again, important to know, this is not a padded flat right. This is a bubble mailer. A Gemini mailer is not going to fit in here properly, okay? You're going to not be able to close it at the top. So it's important that you have the right supplies. If you're going to ship it first class, ship it like this. If you're going to ship it priority and you charge a little bit more for shipping, you then place it inside your priority legal flat rate envelope. Fold this over like so. And this is pretty much indestructible. Your mailman's not gonna be able to bend this when he's shoving it in your mailbox. Um, I've never had an issue with a 
Gemini mailer, bubble wrap backing boards, then placed in a legal flat rate envelope. All right, guys, so that's our quick video. Make sure you're shipping and packaging your comic books properly. Be sure to like us and follow us on Facebook and stay tuned for more.